All right, so we're back at the uh, main well pump area, and uh, the pressure switch has been freezing up the last few days. It's been pretty cold, and I'm going to replace this unit right here and the gauge as well at the same time just because it's it's off. And since I got to tear the whole system down anyway, I might as well put a new one on. They're only like eight dollars, so I'm going to replace this and this, and then go through draining or repressurizing the pressure tank and uh, we should be all set. So of course the first step is to shut off the 220 volts running to the pressure switch. Uh, last thing we want to do is get electrocuted. Alright, we're going to start by removing the wiring. thing for us is I bought the exact same pressure switch so I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing as far as quality goes but it'll make it easy to put it on and off I mean it's I won't probably won't even have to think about where these wires go I just have to make sure that I put them you know red black black red when I put them back on So what's coming out here now is whatever's built up in the system, I've basically drained it. So I shut off the house so we're not back getting back pressure from the house. But you know this isn't enough pressure to make it into the house, but we have to empty it out because we're taking this off, otherwise it'll just blow all over. Alright, so now that it's all drained, we can start taking it apart. That's not what I wanted. So now I gotta go find a pipe wrench. So yeah, that didn't go as planned and it'll be dark by the time I get the part my wife's bringing because I destroyed that pipe trying to take it off. So uh, I'm just gonna put the pressure gauge on and wait. All right, so here we go again. We actually got the right size pipe this time. I had to put the old one back on just to get us by for the few days. So we're gonna put some on here. switch
So the hard part's done. I just got to refeed the wires back through and hook them all back up. Oops. Of the screws because the screws when you turn them down they turn this way you want it to pull them not push them out so for example if I plug this in over here as I'm tightening the screw the screw is going to want to back that wire out we don't want to do that so we want to put it in on this side that way it's gripping that pulling it down Just put the strain relief back on and we're all set. Now normally after you replace a pressure switch you're just going to want to hit the power and pump the system back up but we don't want to do that yet and uh, part of the reason is the pressure tank. So it works like a straw. Um, I mentioned this on one of the comments on Dan Richfield's video on his filters. Um, by opening the system up like that we allowed air to get pulled into the pressure tank but at the same time there's still water stuck in there so like if, if you have a soda you put a straw in there you, you put your finger over the top when you lift it up it sucks out the uh, the soda with it, you know held in the straw well the same thing happens with the pressure tank so we need to release the air or, or release the valve at the top you have two options you can either hook a pump up to it and repressurize the tank which I don't have a pump here to do that with and so I'm going to do the second option, which is allow air back into the tank. So on the top of the pressure tank is this cover right here. And if we take it off, you're going to see that it looks just like what would be, you know, on a, a tire or a, you know, bike tire, a car tire, whatever. And we need to push in this air valve to let air get sucked into the system. While it does that, you'll see it's going to actually allow the water to drain out the bottom. And you can hear the air getting sucked in the top as the water evacuates. So this process can take a long time depending on how big your tank is. This is a 60 gallon. Um, of course it's not going to have 60 gallons of water in there because there's air that gets uh, you know, pressurized when the water gets pumped into the tank. But there will probably be a good 10 or so gallons, so it takes a while to drain. And if you don't do this, when you're, when if we would have just left it hooked up and, and plugged in and turned on, um, it would have pumped and it would have pressurized the system and we would have watched the, you know, the pressure go up to 50 and shut off and turn it on. But what it'll do is it'll cause it to short cycle. So the pump will be actually just pumping water into the house or to you know, complete the system and it won't really even be using the pressure tank. Um, so instead of you know the water in the tank being pressurized and then actually you know pumped into the house from that pressure, the pump will be running just to keep the house pressure or the water running in the house. The tank really it, it won't even be in the system at this point because there's so much air in there balancing out the water that it might pressurize you know a couple pounds or whatever of water getting pushed into there but it won't be enough to allow the 
the uh, the well pump to turn off. You know, it'll it'll be short cycling. It'll be running, shutting off, running, shutting off. Instead of running for a long time, completely pressurizing and filling this tank, and then shutting off for a long time while you use the 60 gallons plus, you know, if it's hot water, the 30 gallon inside and all that kind of stuff. All right, so now that the pressure tank is completely empty, we're gonna hit the power. It should be running right now. We should, in a few minutes, we'll see the, the gauge go up as it starts pressurizing the system. And it's gonna take a little while because it has to pump it from the well into the tank as well as the rest of the house. And this is a, what is this? Yeah, this is a 3050. So it will turn off at 50 pounds, which is right, like vertical, and turns on at 30 pounds. And you can slowly see it pressurizing the system. All right, it's just about at 50, and it should turn off any second now at 50 pounds. 55, there it is, so it's, it's set at 55 pounds. Now the pressure is probably gonna continue going down just a little bit. The, um, like I said, it's gotta pressurize the house and uh, it's probably filling up the toilets and stuff like that because uh, the water was turned off. So now we just need to put the cover on. And uh, because it's like a little lake down here, I'm gonna leave the well, um, I don't know, utility room or whatever this place is called, next to the uh, actual well. I'm going to leave this open and let it uh, evaporate. I think part of the problem was sometimes, though this was always left open, there was never a cover on it, and uh, the old one, the old one I believe was getting moisture in here and it was causing it to stick open so it wouldn't pump. Um, so I'm going to keep the cover on. I'm also going to let it dry out in here because I came in here before and, you know, as I'm working down here, I've got a heater going, a propane heater, and uh, it was melting ice and stuff and it was causing it to drip down all over. So I think we'll be all set now and shouldn't have any more problems. At least I hope not. For a few years, I read the reviews. These aren't exactly the best. Um, you know, they don't have the best reviews as far as how good they are but they're available at your local store and you do what you have to do so that I don't have to get up at six in the morning every day to get the water running so my wife can take a shower. So 